my friends so have you heard that you're supposed to do personal branding you're supposed to brand yourself to build a business online if you're wondering exactly what that means and what's the best way to brand yourself online what are the things you should do what are the things you shouldn't do on social media right I mean you got to brand yourself they're telling you you got to do that they're telling you you got to build a personal brand you got to have the right personal brand you got to do like what is it that you got to do how do you get that done I've been doing it for four or five years now and I can tell you the things that I struggled with and how you can do the right things from the start don't spend two three years like me doing it wrong just do the right things from the start we're going to talk about the top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what are the tips and strategies that you need to be doing to do personal branding the right way on social media we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about the different things you got to do so let's get right to it and let me share my screen here from my top 10 simple ones I actually created this ebook all a while back and let's just do that and basically what it is is if I show you the ebook itself it's basically the top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you right so that's what you want to do you want to do personal you want to do personal branding in a way that's going to attract people to you and you got to figure out lots of different things now obviously there's there's lots more to this than just this but this will give you a good starting point if you're trying if you're just starting out and you want to make sure you do it the right way then definitely you want to go through this these 10 strategies these 10 simple tips um so let me just so if you've been following me for any time you know that we have that I have a blog and that I post daily on here I post about how to grow your personal brand how to do attraction marketing I, I post about social media strategies some of the tips and tricks on some of the tools and you know I just I just uh do it every day right and I I not have I've got two ebooks that you can get this is the simple online strategy we're going to be talking about right now what is this ebook when you click on this link it takes you to this page here right this page here that just all it asks for is your name and email and then you get this ebook what you're going to get is this ebook right here which basically shows you how to well it talks about these 10 different strategies these 10 different tips and so that you can actually go through it so as you can see it's a I don't know 20 some page ebook you can print it off obviously and you can you can read it or you can just use your computer to look at it uh, but you know let's go through the 10 tips and strategies right now let's just do that right now so yeah so the uh, simple online strategies tips let's go through them right number one is set a good profile picture you gotta set a good profile picture if you don't do that people won't be able to recognize you and you got to do things like not include let's just let's just go look at, I mean yeah I'm not going to go through the details just yet but first let's do that so setting a good profile picture is your first thing you got to do that otherwise anyways uh yeah otherwise we'll talk about it in a minute make your posts public you got to make sure your posts are public if they're not public <laughs> I mean you're in business don't you want people to see what you got what you're about you got to make sure that your posts are public number three is don't post company or product names you're not branding a company you're branding yourself if you start to talk about <laughs> if you try to talk about your um you know company the, the product you have and all those things people are going to just start googling it they're going to go and look up and they're going to find somebody who's gotten more success than you or maybe they're going to find that they don't they're going to find a whole bunch of negativity around it so you got to be careful not to do that so you got to choose a single strategy especially when you're starting out that's number four choose a single strategy what I mean by that is you know choose Facebook choose LinkedIn choose choose Twitter choose Instagram choose TikTok choose one strategy choose blogging 
choose one strategy and master that before you start doing anything else uh brand your name is number five you gotta brand your name if you if you if you're branding like me I started with success with JS okay that's fine lots of people do success with or compassion with or or or, or achieve with or things like that which is great but really you should be branding yourself so make sure you actually have a blog or a url or something with your name as well as your tag that you want to do uh, or if you're you know building a company or something like that right so that's you got to do that so number uh, six is be congruent so what does it mean to be congruent you got to be the same everywhere right so be congruent be the same everywhere you got to be that means have the same profile picture have the same user uh, name have the same cover photo if there is have the same bio have the same everything everywhere so that when people go from one platform to the other they recognize you they know who you are number seven is define your dmo your daily method of operation what are you going to do every day like for me what I do every day is I create a video then I create a blog post then I share that on different platforms I got this whole process if you want to go go check that out definitely go and check out the rest the my my website my blog site you're going to see uh, I got posts in there that talk about what is my daily process to share to 20 plus platforms every single day right number eight engage on everything so whenever you're posting something on a social media platform you've got to be engaging on everything so that means everybody who comments on your stuff I don't mean engage on everything 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 because obviously you can't there's way too many people I got over 4,000 friends I certainly can't engage on all their posts but if they post if they comment on my stuff then I engage on that I like their posts or even love their comments I comment back saying thanks or uh, or ask a question depending depending on what they said but you got to engage on everything that people engage on your stuff respond in kind right that's I know there, I cover more about why that's important number nine is connect daily I probably don't do that enough but really it's connecting with somebody new every single day basically uh, uh if you're doing Facebook f Facebook or LinkedIn for example whoever is new in your network and your connections and your friends sending you friend, friend requests that kind of stuff go and connect with them go to their profile go look at what they're about comment something and maybe send them a message saying hey I noticed this this is so cool what and ask them a question or something right connect daily with new people and number 10 is learn the 80 20 rule now some even say the 99 one rule so what is this rule the first number is your um the number the percentage of of your content that should be non-promotional so should be non um yeah non-promotional where you don't ask them to do something where you're not trying to sell them something where you're not trying to have them go to a website I I'm really bad because I everything I post is all about that I don't really do that that well I probably should be revisiting this is a great opportunity for me to realize the things that I need to improve right and the 20 then the second number like when I say 99 on one that means one percent or 90 10 10 percent right of the content should be promotional now I've been kind of going on the promotional in other words trying to sell something uh percentage but some even go as far as saying you know asking for um basically asking for a, a call to action right so if I have a call to action then I'm being promotional right if I have a call to action to even go to my blog or go to my click ecourse site or that which I do all the time I'm being promotional so I'm not really but that depends too on your perception of the the rule right um okay so now now that we've covered the 10 rule the 10 simple online strategies what they are let's go a little bit deeper into them oh and the other thing by the way when you go to when you go here right what you're going to get is the ebook and ac access to this ebook right right over here which is over here you're going to get access to that which is basically what we're showing you right here right and you're also going to get emails every day for 10 days reminding you of each of the steps each of the things because you know so we don't have time to go through all that in one day right maybe you do and if you do great you'll have access to it all right away but as a reminder it's really good to get this email 
<clears throat> to remind me okay this is I'm on number two now okay what is number two go check out number two go look at the uh, the, the the text in the ebook go <clears throat> sorry go watch the video because what I did when I when I created this I also did I was I've been doing daily you know videos I, I started daily videos in 2015 or something in 2000 yeah something like that and basically what happened is I started doing this and I did these little videos right here like if I click on this you can see this is a video that will show you uh let's turn the sound off here it's loading up I got a cute little robot there saying hey click e-course blah 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 it's a promotional kind of thing whoops let's just go to the end here so the video is basically me whoops it's basically me walking I used to do this you know to work right I would just take five minutes I would record a video and that's definitely one thing you should consider doing is daily little videos like this because people get to know you really well through video right now I don't talk about doing videos in these top 10 simple online strategies but I'm telling you right now that would be one thing that I would highly recommend you do is a video like this similar to this or whatever whatever you want to do you like now I don't walk to work anymore I'm working from home because of COVID right so I'm sitting at my computer every day recording these videos the other thing too is that I used to make them about five minutes uh and that was that was originally b before I I didn't you know that's kind of what I did now I do more and more than five minutes I do about 30 minute videos usually right now see we're 11 minute mark um but that's what I normally do right and I'm just gonna let me just so okay so that's number one is the top 10 simple online strategies let me just so okay so now it's uh, number two let's go back to this if I just click on back to course down there it takes me back to the actual it's a like it's a course not really a course I suppose but it's kind of like you know uh 10 steps you can actually go through this using the Click eCourse website you can go to each of them and if you set up an account by clicking on the register at the top here entering an, an email and an email address and a password you'll actually be able to keep track of where you are in each of these uh lessons in this in this in this series right uh obviously uh, let's you know if I go back to here there's a lot of other stuff on this site that you can actually access lots of them are free if I just show you if I just show the price you can see the ones that are free uh, let's sort them by you can actually sort them by least expensive which will show you all the free ones creating your first course Facebook friend growth tips top 10 small notch single sim success interviews uh, WordPress training kit basic and uh and then the rest are all just you know really cheap cheap things so in the low prices right um but if I go back to this and okay so strategy okay so let's just go back I was talking about how I was doing these these videos every day and how I've been doing them five minutes just through my walk what I recommend you do that so getting back to the top 10 simple online strategies number one is set a good profile picture now I talk about that in there and the reason is you want to have a profile picture that is representative of you after all you're doing a personal brand you're not branding a company you're not branding a product you're branding you so that means you have to have a profile picture that's of you and the the recommendation is a headshot of just you right which is kind of what I do right I have a, a, a like this one for example is a test profile but it's just a, a picture of my face and if I go here too that's the same thing I got a picture of my face right so it's just that that you should be using as your uh, profile picture not a picture of you and your spouse not a picture of you and your dog I mean they're great your spouse is awesome but they're not you and especially if you've got a name that might be um, unisex right if you're called uh an, if you're Michelle Michelle maybe without a knee or it could be a girl or a boy or maybe a carol right there's lots of names that are unisex or even if you're you know not you don't have a an, an English or typical name of your audience if your audience is the U.S market and you're you know like me Jean-Serge they might not know because Jean J-E-A-N is half, often used for a woman right so if I had a picture of me and my wife then they might think that Jean is is the is the woman right 
which you know sometimes especially if you've got an attractive spouse you might want to do that because you're thinking well I'm going to get more people to watch to look at my stuff because they're going to see my spouse they're going to be like oh whatever right but the thing is that that's not what you should be doing you should be branding yourself okay so that's what this is all about I talk about that a little bit I also have the uh, in the ebook obviously I talk about that right it's not a picture of your kid pets it's not a picture of your kids not your spouse all this right I talk about all that in the ebook number two your make your post public why do I say that right I kind of give you a little bit of a overview there the reason is because you're in business you're in business okay you you have a personal life sure of course and you know some people are like well I want to have uh, a private and a public persona or life or whatever you go ahead and do that I just I just don't have time to deal with that I don't have like for me if I post something on 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 a social media platform like Facebook there's still the risk that whatever I post eventually leaks or something or somebody takes a screenshot because they're my friend and shares it anyways or whatever there's always these ways of doing things so why bother so I wouldn't actually post anything that I, I don't want to go out so I make everything public right all my stuff that I post is for public consumption and I highly recommend you do that too and you don't worry about the private versus public I mean whatever you're going to get people that are going to that are going to be mean and negative and 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 not nice to you and whatever that's just part of building a business <laughs> so if you make everything public then you don't have to worry about should this be public should that done whatever right I just make it all public and I also there's also settings in your so for, for Facebook for example there's settings where you can say uh make your friend list public or not and make your your content public or not or make your there's and I talk about this stuff in this video and of course in the ebook I talk about uh make your post public I talk about you know when you post I talk about um settings and things like that in the in there too all right okay so number three number three number three I can I can barely make number three right is is don't post company or product name and I kind of touched on that a little bit <coughs> but the thing is that if you post about the company you're with which I'm sure is a fantastic company it's a f amazing product you've got something that's that's that everybody wants that everybody should want you've got like especially if you're in network marketing that's a definite that's one of those things I mean if you're in network marketing you know that your company is amazing you know that their comp plan is amazing you know their products are amazing and you you know that anybody who you really got into it would really think the same thing and it would be awesome right so you're like why can't I share the company name why can't I just tell people I mean I don't want to hide anything right so I'm going to post about the company plus the company tells me that I need to post about them that I can't be posting just me they want to they want they they're, they're going to tell me that I'm doing something like you know illegal according to the terms and whatever if I don't post about them and all that and you know if they're like that then maybe it's not the company for you because the thing is that if you start posting about the company in your posts there's lots of stuff that's going to happen there's first of all you're going to lose a lot of friends lots of people don't want to hear about your stuff they don't want to be they're not interested about your stuff they they're interested about their stuff about their life and they're interested about you know your personal life they don't care about the business you're in or the product you're selling or that kind of stuff they don't want a salesman as a friend right that's number one number two is if you do post about your company and about your product in your news feed and somebody sees that and they're actually interested right if they're maybe interested without you having to talk to them they're going to just look at the company name and they're going to go google it they're going to go there and and that can have two different outcomes number one is they're going to be like oh wow this is an amazing company and this is great and they're going to be like I got to sign up with this and they're just going to click on whatever they they found online to sign up they're not going to go back to your page and go and ping you and message you and say hey I I was looking that up I mean yeah sure some will but most won't they're just going to click and they're that's because they're going to look at other people having success with it they're going to find somebody else who they think is more successful than you especially if you're starting out right and they're going to join with that person or sign up or buy the product from that person right 
the second thing that can happen is they're gonna look and they're gonna see all the negativity around network marketing around your company about your product and you know that's out there because there's people that's what they do they just love to be negative about stuff so you're going to post about that and they're going to find those things and they're going to be like yeah yeah that's not for me and they're going to decide to not get in there and maybe even block you and unfriend you and all that right because they're going to see that you're trying to you know scam them with whatever that is right because that's what they're going to think it is <clears throat> it's a big scam and you're out to get all their money and uh, they're going to lose their shirt and they're going to lose all their friends and all that stuff it's all negative right so that's why you can't be posting about your company or your product names now the other thing and I don't I don't I think I might talk about that in the actual uh video or the 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 content in the ebook let's see if I do so friends do I talk about links yeah so the other thing you don't want to do which I don't actually cover in the ebook necessarily or maybe I do talk about it is links you don't want to be posting links to products to companies even to to your blog I I do that but it's uh, I do that in my pages on my profile I don't post links to my blog I post I share videos and things like that and the reason why you don't want to do that is because Facebook LinkedIn Twitter all those platforms they don't like people leaving their platform so if you post a link to some external site they and somebody sees that and they click the link they're going to leave you know Facebook right and Facebook doesn't want that they so they won't share your post as much if you have a link in them if you don't have if you have a link that's why you see all the people all the time you know asking you uh, to comment yes if you want a link to something right it's not because they want to be you know annoying and not give you the the not give it to you for free or whatever it's because and I do that it's because if we post the link instead of getting 50 people to see our post or 10 people or whatever the number is we're going to get like a tenth of that instead of 10 we'll get just one instead of 50 we'll get only five we want more people to see our post the more they um and the other thing too is that as they ask yeah if they comment yes or something or info or whatever that increases the engagement as well if you were to give the link even that those five people that see your post with the link and they click the link they're not engaging on your post so Facebook will not reshare it because the more engagement you get the more it gets shared the more engagement you get etc it's a small snowball effect right so that's why you should <laughs> you should not be including links in your post all right we're number three geez we're already at 22 minutes number four is choose a single strategy that should go without saying it's just like anything else when you focus on something when you you know master something first you're definitely going to do better than trying to do 10 different platforms like me I post on like 20 platforms and that's because I've been doing it for so long and I'm I'm basically able to do it all in a very short amount of time right I certainly couldn't do 20 platforms when I started so I started with just Facebook and blogging right I just started with one strategy basically a blog with a video <laughs> which I'm still doing now but I started with that and now I expanded it to more right and that's what you should be doing if you look through the uh, ebook of course we talk about the sing choosing a single strategy to you know we talk about the different platforms when I started you know and this was my strategy etc cetera, etc cetera, right and that's the of course the video there too number five is brand your name you got to be branding your name your name is 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 your is your gold right it's you are the brand it's it should go without saying you're 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 doing personal branding so of course it's you right and we talk about this and I'm not I'm going to kind of go <laughs> skip because we kind of talked about it already being congruent being congruent is number six so that means posting the same profile picture everywhere that means posting like if I go to my Twitter for example right if I go to Twitter and let's go to LinkedIn and let's go to my blog well my blog is already here if you look at my blog actually that's not I haven't done I haven't updated my blog in a while um, but if you go to my uh, LinkedIn and you go to my profile let's just go to my profile and my profile here too you see that I've got this 
this cover picture I got to change that probably but and then this is my profile picture if I go to LinkedIn you'll get the same exact image the same image the same profile picture <clears throat> and on Facebook uh on Facebook I make an exception myself because it's the real personal place that's where I post cover photos of my family that kind of stuff but at least it's the same profile picture and uh the 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 text the bio if you will right uh, <clears throat> and uh I've got TikTok master's course in here right the bio in LinkedIn is a business bio uh, because I also use it to find contracts in my day job right um, but you know you got to keep things the same you got to be congruent as much as you can and be the same on all the platforms if you can right so profile picture cover photo bio those are the, and user id right your user id i use jean serge gagnon everywhere uh, there's a couple of platforms like uh, like uh, pinterest and uh, my original blog that use success with js but that I've never gone back and, and fixed that but you know that's one of the things if I had known I decided and I had been told you do the same thing I would have done the same thing but I and that's what this is all about okay so define your daily method of operation what do you do every day right try to be as precise as you can based on your amount of time you have based on your schedule based on your abilities and that's the best you can do is definitely to be you know as precise as you can with that right um so that's that's what your dmo is your daily method or what do you do every day and I give you examples in in the ebook right uh, if I go back down here brand your name uh define okay so be congruent that's the one here <clears throat> and then uh define your demo right so uh, like I do this right that's what I used to do now it's a little different but it's it's still kind of the same thing um I started with these daily actions right two new blog I actually started with two blog posts a day right and now it's very similar but you got to figure out your pockets of time right when is it that you got a bit of time because you don't have to have a two-hour block to build a business online you can just do it with 15 minutes here 15 minutes there lunch time right that kind of stuff morning evening and weekends right tv time you're building a business you probably should reduce the amount of time you spend on tv right and then and then yeah so anyways that's what that is that's what defining your daily method of operation is all about number eight and by the way here's the link to get this uh to go get this if you're uh listening to the e to the ebook uh where's that link uh, do I not have it sites a wherever Pinterest a wherever TikTok master I don't even have it let me add it to my link here let's add this to my thing um <clears throat> so it's going to be uh master simple <coughs> master of simple.com right actually let's make this with uh, letters that you can kind of tell those separate words master of simple.com so master of simple.com that's where you want to go uh if you are <coughs> there it is if you want to go get your free copy of the ebook it's masterofsimple.com I'm actually going to go in here and where did it go it's over here I change the background color the opacity where did it go oh I did it the other way around it's the background opacity I want there we go masterofsimple.com all right so you want to go to masterofsimple.com you're going to go get get your free ebook right there it's going to take you to this page over here and you're going to be able to get your copy so I'm just going to leave that down on the screen here for a bit uh, while we keep we finish up so uh, like I said if you're listening to the audio you can go listen to the full uh, video <coughs> sorry at cis233.jsgagnon.com cis233.jsgagnon.com right so go check that out that's where the full video is at uh, let me go back here okay so now we're on at number eight is engage on everything so what do I mean by engage on everything if I go into Facebook right 
I ha I get notifications of all sorts of stuff I post daily I add other things on there obviously there's uh the you see memories and things like that <clears throat> and if I go into my notifications we can see all these notifications when I look at some of these I will see especially you can see in Facebook you can see when when it's a comment it's a green little thing right so if I go to some of these that are commented I can go in there's a bunch of elite thinker things here I don't know if there's a comment on one of my posts uh, on your post there you go so I go here and I look at the comments that somebody made on one of my posts right this post here and I just make sure that I love their comments or like their comments depending on the on what that is right and thank you and then I just thank you so much at whoops so much at Loetta right so Loetta Paulson there you go all right and then who else there's Christine over here thanks Christine Christine uh, which one is it did I write that wrong oh there's only one in so Christine there you go all right and then of course there's another one it was awesome at Candace right now on the phone it's a little different because on the phone you can click on the reply and it well actually I think you can here too uh, let me see what happens nice place good times let's love this and reply yeah see when when you reply on the phone it actually puts their name right away it was at margin there we go so now uh, I haven't and I've done all this right <coughs> we sure did Kathy so Kathy no that's not the right one so that's the other thing right you got to make sure you got the right the right person there you go especially when you're doing that right um thanks so much Miranda <coughs> hmm. and last one I'm just going to do that to make sure but that's what I mean by engage on everything got to make sure it sure is Jason creating those memories right so I mean so that's what I mean when I say engage on everything you got to go through and got to make sure that you engage on things because if you don't do that then Facebook will not share your stuff you got to do that to get Facebook to share same thing with other platforms that's what I mean by engage on everything connect daily connect daily is not too complicated if I go to Facebook and I look say for example at my well just my messenger list I look at these all these people here see I can do this see all in messenger if I want right and in messenger <clears throat> I can look at this and actually you know that's one one way to do it right but uh let's see if I go actually let's go back to my friends so if I go to my friends list view sent requests I guess they changed the the layout how can I is there an uh, see people you may know is there another way to see maybe sent requests no these are sent requests I want to see you know recently added friends I guess they changed how you can see friends it used to be you can say show me the recently added friends right <clears throat> anyways but it doesn't really matter whatever you do um let's just uh, get that out of there so if I look at these people here that are asking me to be friends I can actually go to their profile right and I can look at their profile and see what they're about a little bit entrepreneur Philippe Marguerite okay believer from Queens New York Atlanta uh he posts you know things about um you know inspiration right that kind of stuff right and I can either just accept them but I can also go and look at their profile and see you know the picture that's there and I can actually I can actually send them a message I can say I can say hey Anthony thanks for friend now one of the things that um what is that picture in your 
cover photo of <clears throat> now you know obviously that's a very lame kind of comment they sent me a friend request they should probably be sending me a message and I should I don't like look at that I got 234 friend requests right obviously I don't accept all these um all the time I look at what they're what they're about their friends in common usually I'll accept if they have a ton of friends in common like you know there's lots of them right um and that's that's what I mean by you know connect connect daily you know go through your friend list go through your your friend requests go through just maybe even in groups if you go into group like say I'm um, I'm into um, building courses and stuff there's a lot of courses groups out there I can go to those course groups and I can look at the people that are commenting that are active in the group then go look at their profile then send them a message say hey I saw you were in the in the same group as me how long have you been you know creating a course or how long have you been you know trying to lose weight or how long have you been exercising or whatever your niche is right so that's what connect daily is and then learn the 80 20 rule the last one is whenever you look at the posts right if I look at these posts of this person here you can see that he's doing really good because he's just posting you know <clears throat> um inspiration things he's not even asking anybody to buy anything he's not talking about a product he's just posting inspiration now he's not posting any pictures or anything else but it's still great you know he's doing a good job right if I look at some uh, I don't know who I have no idea right if I just look at uh, let's just look at uh, Michelle Brown here I don't know who that is uh I mean she's posting uh, in um, Nathan's mom uh, I don't know she's just posting about mother pictures but look she's got things she's selling right new skin so I can see right away that this person is into a network marketing company called new skin um that's that's great um but the thing is that if I'm not if I'm not, if I look through here I can see that she's posting well she's got this is probably this here's another oh Lysol I guess <laughs> and you know posting there's another sale right um I'll be ordering this toothpaste tomorrow so if you want it or message me 20 bucks a two plus shipping right <laughs> <coughs> so she's actually posting on her timeline about the products that she's selling which you know that's what the network marketing companies want you to do now that's one of the things I, I told you don't do because now I can just go look and I can look at new skin and the other thing is I might be like oh, I don't want to be a friend with her she's just going to try to sell me her stuff and she's going to ask me to join her thing and whatever so maybe I won't but in my case I'm a network marketer uh I'm not a network marketer but a business building so I'm hoping that maybe I can help her to improve her thing so I'm just going to add friend and I'm going to I'm going to say thanks for friend request so hey Michelle thanks for friend request how long have you been with new skin there you go I'm just going to do that we'll see what happens whatever right okay so that's what is that's what the 80 so the 80 20 rule in her case she's not probably I would say if I look through the posts that she's got she's got you know more posts about her product enough anyways that I know right away what she's about right and um the 80 20 rule that does not mean post about your products it's it's about posting about you know a calls to a calls call to action right a CTA which means go to my blog or go to go watch this which I do I don't do very very good but <laughs> that's what that's all about all right I hope you <clears throat> enjoyed this and don't forget go to masterofsimple.com to get your free copy it'll take you to the page that looks like this and all you got to do is put your name and email and you get your own copy of this and if you want to set up an account on master of simple or just register here and you can get uh tracking of where you you're at in the whole thing and uh and yeah so that's it we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time